Welcome to Meadows 100 at PDAC 2025. I'm so glad that we have James from Baseload here today. How's your day? My day has been excellent, Jade. How was yours? Great, thank you so much. So let's start with an um, update. So what is your company's uh, like priorities for this year? Uh, Baseload's fortunate enough to have $10 million for exploration purposes. Mm -hmm. That's 5 million flow through, 5 million hard dollars. And we've got a great asset with Accio being a near surface high grade uranium discovery. And we've also got uh, targets that are within five to six kilometers of Accio that we think will yield further results. So that is our primary focus for this year. In the summertime, we'll be drilling some additional targets outside of Accio. Perfect. So shifting to exploration, what is your latest development of your projects? We completed a summer drill program mm -hmm. on our hook project, in which we were still waiting on assays, unfortunately. Uh, the lab is six months behind schedule, but we were patiently waiting for those results to come back. What we've seen visually in the core, uh, we're happy with the, with the drill results that we are expecting from Accio. Um, it, based on the original simpleometer results, they look looks like we were hitting stronger mineralization in one of the pods that had not been drilled off uh, to the extent that we wanted to previously. And the and we're still waiting on the assay results from the, the drill targets that, that we drilled too. But those those are, are what really those are what's really going to drive us forward. Uh, we can't make an informed decision yet until we get our assays back. But visually looking at the core that we drilled, it was amazing. It, it's, it had all the key marks and all the characteristics that we look for trying to find high-grade uranium. That's exciting. So is there any financial plans for 2025? No, there's actually no financial <laughs> plans. Uh, again, with, with the cash in the bank, we're in a very, very fortunate spot that we don't have to raise money and we do not need to dilute our investors. Uh, we plan we plan on five million for exploration this year, and with that, we're hoping to make a new discovery that will increase our share price and get get investors back into the company. Great. So, talking about the valuation, do you think the stock price currently can reflect your potential? No, I honestly <laughs> don't think it does. I think we are severely undervalued. Mm -hmm. It's 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 kind of scary that we that we have a market cap uh, as low as we do right now we do have near surface mineralization that is within proximity to a mill and we believe that our our mineralized zone that we call accio has the potential to be a an open pit mine in the future plus the cash that we have in hand and the targets that that we think will deliver new results yes i think that we are an undervalued company and it, but this that this represents the right time for investors to get into baseload is that because we're at such a low valuation and if we're successful this summer, I believe our, sh our share price will just go back up through the roof. Yeah, that's so true. So what is the challenges that you are facing when you are doing the projects? We don't actually have a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. it's, it's all pretty straightforward. The, the biggest risk all of us in the junior exploration face is raising capital. That's, that's the hardest thing, especially in, in today's market. Raising capital is very difficult. But like I said earlier, we've got cash in the bank. We have $10 million in the bank, so that's not really uh, an issue. We've got, we're permitted to drill the project. We have working agreements with the indigenous groups in the area. Mm -hmm. So our social licenses is there. I think everything really, really looks favorable for us to move forward. Yeah, that's great. So thank you so much, James. Thank you for sharing your insight with us and hope you enjoy the conference. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>